this is uh, Google Analytics. It's let me show you the navigation bar. Uh, Google Analytics. Dot com, I mean google.com forward slash analytics, okay? This is what you come to, the Google Analytics page. So now you're saying you want to go ahead and click the sign up page, which it's pretty straightforward. You just follow the steps here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the web page for this, which is uh, www.keithgoodrum.com. And the account name, we'll just have it keithgoodrum.com. I'll just leave it as is because I'm only uh, tracking my blog. Now, we're in uh, Eastern Time in the United States, of course. And then this is contact information, which I'm not sure if you can leave stuff out or not. But we'll select Territories United States. And then it asks you to uh, read their terms of service, which I'm sure that everybody does thoroughly, goes over it word by word. And just say yes, agree to the terms and conditions, and create new account. It's pretty straightforward. Now here's what you got. It brings you right here to the two types of tracking code. There's a new tracking code, which is the GA.js, but I use the, uh, the legacy tracking code. So, real simple, you just copy it. Then you want to go and log into your WordPress uh, blog. Okay, so here we are at the uh, dashboard of, Word of my WordPress blog, and we're going to install the code. Down the Presentation tab, then come over here to Theme Editor. And then scroll down to footer, click on that, and here we are at the footer, footer PHP. What you're looking for is at the bottom, you're looking for the slash body tag. I just make a space. I go ahead and just paste that in, and there's the code right there. Paste it in. Now I just go ahead and hit update. And it says right here that the file was updated successfully, and it's all set to go.